Can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Is anybody there? Darn, nobody's watching. What's going on? Oh no, I'm frozen. I gotta put up the temperature, I'm frozen. Just kidding guys, how are you guys doing? Where is my window? I'm not for getting my camera is not frozen. <clears throat> Audio is good. Thank you, Mass Master. Oh, Joel Carter just came in. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing, thank you. Doing good? Uh, I thought that would have been, uh, what was it, a grasshopper or a frog that Brad, Brad sent you? No, 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 I, I'm building something else. It's the kit I bought for myself for my birthday last year, basically. So <laughs> last, last December, I bought this kit. It's a Subaru Brat, and I'm oh, just yeah, getting okay. around to building it now, so. Oh, okay. Uh, can you shut off your camera for now until somebody else comes in? Because when we're only two, I can't present to uh, people. Yeah. So just shut off your camera like that. I'm the only one going to be there. Because this is a video built, I don't want to see. It's not because I don't like your ugly mutt. It's just <laughs> the type of video. Not a problem. Is. No, no, no problem. not a problem. And, and I like having people here with me to actually sometime read the chat or to chit chat while I'm actually working. So, yeah, it makes time go by faster. And oh, yeah. Makes it easier to build. <clears throat> so, I kind of cheated. I started uh, earlier. I got maybe an hour into this, an hour and a half. The whole front end is done. That's kind of interesting how they've got this front end with all the metal and all that. Um, and the, the way the suspension never, actually works. I've never seen a, a setup like that on any of them before. Yeah, it's a it's a Subaru Brat. I I can't remember the name of this chassis, but it's they've used it a lot in a lot of different RCs. Uh, Brad was with here tonight. He could actually tell you the type of chassis that it is, but I just know the car. So it actually comes with two bodies, and I got. Something special planned for this, and I'm not gonna say what it is until I actually unveil it. So, right, it's gonna be fun. So, is Brad still under the weather right now? I have no idea. Well, I know he went to the hospital the other day, but I don't know if he's still feeling bad or not. I haven't talked to him. I hope oh. he comes in tonight. I thought he'd have been in before me. Yeah, <laughs> true. So there's metal parts on here for the transmission. That's kind of interesting. There's a skid plate. <clears throat> so the transmission actually is a center part in plastic, but then on both sides, they have uh, metal. Also, the, the plastic center and then the metal outer plates. Yep. Just going to make sure I get the right one for the right side. So they give you bushing and bearings. Uh, they gave me bushings, uh, but I took bearings out of my kit. They gave you four bearings. Uh, oh, okay. and they actually tell you where to put the four bearings. They actually go in the motor. So there's two bearing in the, in the big uh, uh, spur gear inside. Uh -huh. And there's two bearings for the wheels, the outer wheels, uh, the inner wheels and where the transmission is, where the dry shafts are going to go, I guess, these dry shafts. Oh, yeah, for the uh, outdrive cups. Yeah, okay. but on the outer, in into the actual axle for the two-wheel drive, on the outer near the closest to wheels, they were supposed to be bushings, but I am going to put some bearings. So. Yeah, I don't understand how come they don't just give bearings in all their kits. It's a money thing, I guess, but maybe because they have so many kits and they've been doing it for years, I have no idea. That's... 
the, what I think, but I might be wrong or not. But so have you heard anything about the RCF getting anybody else again? Or nope. It seems like everything just stopped all of a sudden when he got to Guru. Oh yeah. Uh, I haven't heard anything since. Maybe he ran out of money. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just saw 11 Charlie go off air. So I said, okay, I'm going to go on air since I got nothing to do. Yeah, I, I jumped in on part of it and started dozing off. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the daughter, she was here with with my grandsons, and I just wanted to come home and take a little cat nap, but we ended up eating with them, and sat back, I watched a little bit of TV with them, and then the love and Charlie was on, so I started watching that, and I, I just couldn't keep my eyes open. <laughs> Ended up dozing off, and my wife woke me up. I was just sitting there, just playing a couple of games on my phone, and then, okay. then I got the, the message from you. I was like, okay, hey, what the heck, you know, I'll, I'll jump in. Cool, thank you very much. But did you get a chance to catch the stream from Saturday night with jmhrc yeah uh, li some little parts uh, when you were showing off some of the rcs you had yeah i was surprised how interested everybody got with all my cross trucks yeah it's well it's it's a um it's a bunch of trucks that not everybody have so that's why a lot of people are kind of interesting in it interested in it right <clears throat> So, yeah, they're definitely good uh, dollhouse trucks. Dollhouse. No, that's what Brad, I'm not Brad, but Sean calls them, you know, <laughs> like got all the good stuff, the doors open and interior and everything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, right, how come I just lost my chat again? Spotlight for everybody. Okay, now that the, both of them are there, you can turn on your camera like that. You can look at each other. Nobody else is going to see you. Uh. <laughs> okay. Eh. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> they give you three different spur gear and three different pinion in this kit, which is nice. You got the standard type for seven seven point three to one, or the high speed type six point seven to one, or the torque type is eight point five to one. So I went for the high speed one. Why not? That did yeah. this one come with a motor? Yes, it comes with a motor and ESC. The only thing you have to supply is your uh, servo and uh, receiver transmitter. What's up, Kurt? Kevin? Hey, Big John. head. What's up, John? Howdy. Wolsey, what's up? So I'm building a brat. Not a brat, but a brat. Oh, the brat, yeah. Subaru brat. Kind of interesting the way this is. It's kind of weird also. They tell you to drop some piece of uh, plastic in there, but then they tell you to flip it around to put the screws on this side. But when I do that, that piece of plastic is going to fall out. There it goes. <laughs> you almost need like two hands. Or four hands. Or four hands. <laughs> right. Bags. Up, guru. Guy in a moose, how are you? 
Ah, uh, there's some little stuff in there. Oh yeah, little tiny screws. Uh, when I open up my bag, because there's like um, A, B, C, D, E, five bags. I I have five little cups, so like that, it's easier to find the screws. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see you got the C right there. So yeah, that's a good idea, man. Yeah, see, and here's the B. Yeah, the E. Yeah. And I have the B, which I have a different type of screw. So I do have uh, five little dishes here that uh, I go and get when I need a screw. I go get the special dish and I don't have to go fish because when you mix them all together, oh, yeah. a lot of freaking screws to look around. That's a really good idea. Good morning, Bob. Hey, Dominic. Welcome in. Hey, Dominic's RC, Kurt's RC. How you doing? Where did my screwdriver go? Right there in front of me. This is the Tamiya screwdriver. There is a difference. <laughs> Blacksmith RC, welcome in. So what do you do? It's going to do tank set them little screws and then put that uh, plastic piece back in there? Yeah. You don't tell you to put thread lock and I probably won't bother on this one. It is a little piece of metal inside, but because this is like a piece of aluminum, it should torque back. down and give give a little bit of pressure back. So that one's there. Put that little piece back, and then I'll go to the next step. There was a little um, before I went on air, kind of a spring or a a ring that you have to stretch and put over. This it was kind of uh, tricky to get there, but I it went in. Is, no, is that a this is a Tamiya, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, is that like a basic Tamiya transmission, or are they all totally different from each other? All the ones that I build from different kits, they are they are different. So, this is a two wheel drive transmission, which is pretty close to. Like a Traxxas or uh, no, not a Traxxas. They usually have the three three gear transmission. Um, this is basically just two because you have the spur gear that goes to a, another gear that's actually attached to it, but then get that goes to actually the drivetrain. So you basically you, there is three gears, but you're gonna have the motor directly on this that's gonna turn that. So. It's a little bit different than the Traxxas, but they're pretty close all the same. It acts like a idler gear. Uh, I don't think there's a idler gear in there because the idler gear, I know what you mean. Like it's right in the middle and it's between the gears. Yeah. So this one, yeah. which is a metal, is much smaller. It's, it is aluminum. Uh, probably does act like the little idler gear, but it's actually attached to the spur. Now I need BB2. I need a long screw. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what I hate a little bit about these kits is that like I need a, a, a screw from bag uh, B, a screw from bag C, nut from bag D, and some other parts. Like everything <laughs> is spread apart. So you do have to open up every bag and then go yeah. and get the proper screws where you need them. Wow. Well, I'm sure that's got to get aggravating after a while. Well, when you know when you have your dishes ready like I do, it's not as bad. But having this the way I have it, I can see how Brad loses screws or loses parts when he's working on a very, very small desk. Right. Yeah, doesn't. And then he's saying he doesn't have a choice. I understand he doesn't have a choice, but that happens. Lock nut. Kitchen table. Yes. Mm. 
the only one there just lay down a couple towels and lay everything out. Yep. Tree lock knot. This stupid black bar. Five of these metal shims. They're like a metal tube. Like Kevin Gibbs just said, always have your dishes ready. Step one. Yeah. <laughs> so here I need another. Oh, Jackson. Yes, Jack is in the chat. How are you doing, Jack? I'm doing the Tamiya build off. This is my. Subaru Brat for the Tamiya build off. What's up, Tony? So he wants to see pictures or videos or whatever. So I'm doing a mix of both into my <laughs> uh, my thing. Once in a while, I stop and I take a picture of what I'm doing, and then I'll be sending that off to uh, to him so he can put it in a montage. Okay. <laughs> Guru said he's, he's getting Brad a four foot folding table. A four foot folding table? Yeah. Mm, they, got, they got some nice ones now. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to Walmart and get them cheap. Yeah. True. <laughs> You gotta grease her up. That's what she said. I got a couple of the uh, the eight foot folding tables. I bought one. Yeah, you know, this gotta be five, six years ago. I think it was thirty dollars, and then I just bought another one. It was a black one, not as heavy. It was like. 20. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple of them. We got one of them old school folding tables that weigh 80 pounds <laughs> oh. and foot ones. Like, oh my God. Hernia case, just insert hernia, right? Yeah. We don't use it too much, though. We used to use it all the time for Thanksgiving and stuff. But Those are the ones that just the legs fold, right? Yeah. <laughs> big heavy wooden platform with big metal frame around it. Yeah. Good old wrestling tables. Right? The good old cage match. Yeah. John, you got anything needs work done right now or everything's still pretty good? Yeah, everything's good at the moment. Well, I guess what I did Sunday, I drove the Stampede and Stampede broke again. But that's the Thursday story. <laughs> Thursday, we're going to look at it. Thursday, we'll look at it. Where'd you break? I don't know. I just think the slipper clutch is slipping. Yeah. It's not. It's I give a full throttle, it just zzzz, and then it takes off. Hmm. So, yeah, it sounds like it's loose again. Yeah. If it ain't that, it's the motor plate coming loose. Hmm. It's one of them two things all the time on that car. Yeah. Are you the motor coming loose or the flipper? Yeah, the motor's been coming loose from the uh, spur gear. And I think I just fixed that. I put a new bolt in it. But now the slipper clutch is loosening. Stupid thing. Hmm. Did you put a new 
uh, nylock nut on there? Uh, I when I replaced all that stuff, I think I did. Yeah, it came unless it didn't fit it. One or the other. I had I know there was one nut that didn't fit something, so it might have been that. <sighs> when I upgraded it to the e Revo, uh brake system. Kevin Gibbs said, sell it and get a big rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe I beat on it more than I should. Well, they're bashers, but you know. Thomas Downey said he's got the Proline tranny for his bandit and it works great. Oh, the new one? Must be the new one. I know the old one, they have were having issues with it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, the new Proline transmission form? Yeah. They did, they did a redesign on it. I don't know exactly what they did, but there was issues with it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have anything correct that's in here. Yeah. Come on, you little piece of plastic. Fall in place. Now, one thing I got to remember is if I go down to either USTE or just Florida in general, well, all I need to do is I've got that old Duratrax Invader up there that JMH wants. Oh, yeah? And it just then, Dennis, you said they were discontinuing a lot of them, uh, like the Demon and that stuff models. Yeah, yeah. They're the Demon going. line, Demon line is going to be completely discontinued. The yeah. end of twenty twenty two. They're going to still keep their uh, their military stuff, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That that's one of their big <laughs> sellers. Yeah. But yours is a two uh, four by four. Your tracks is your slash, right? Your stampede. My stampede, yeah. My stampede's four by four. Yeah, I usually don't have problems with the transmission for the stampede. I I find that very odd. It's usually the two wheel drive that gives me trouble. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that when they have the drive train on this, there's one that has a very long pin. So when you actually insert, they both go in and they both hold each other in line. So it keeps everything straight and everything stronger. So it's kind of interesting. I like that. Everything's turning. Ooh. That's good. Very thin. It's very interesting because how thin it is. Yeah. Okay, now what side was I on? I think it was that side. I am chit-chatting and talking and not being careful what I'm doing. <laughs> You got eight eyes, and I don't even know remember what side you're on. Thanks. So. Okay. I'm watching you too. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye on chat. <laughs> nope. That's one of the reasons I don't like doing a build and going live is you miss the chat, you miss what people are saying, but having you guys there to say if there's anything important. Not saying that guys sometimes don't say anything important there, but sometimes there there is chit chat that is very interesting. We'll see you, Jack. Was a big seller. See you later, Jack. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Later, Jack. So, uh, how many RCs did you take down from your attic for JMH? 
I took none down from the attic. Oh, yeah. Which truck was discontinued? You guys are talking. Uh, most of the Cross RC Demon line has been discontinued. Okay. But they're really not saying that they're discontinued. They're just not replenishing the stock. Okay. Uh, they've got three, three new trucks that had just come out within the last year. And they're going more toward uh, the Lexan side. Okay. Well, for a while, I know Cross RC had problems with their transmission. That was the biggest downfall. Well, that was probably three or four years ago. But it, they did fix a lot of those issues. My yeah, and then uh, last year, they came out with an upgrade for the transmission, which is their... Uh, this is what is interesting with their manual when this the drawing of the screw is actually kind of dark it's a black screw but if the screw here and the screw are two different colors uh, this is a white screw and this is a black screw so like that you can't mistake a wrong screw right yeah their upgraded transmission is the gb2 okay which has all uh, mod one gears in it and you can get either the aluminum or the plastic case and uh, plastic motor mount and these are bulletproof you could put a brushless on these and not have to worry about it that's good the original transmission the only downfall to that transmission was uh, a couple of the gears were brass that ran up against some of the steel gears okay and if, if you go forward to reverse or reverse to forward real quick it would strip them out and out of the nine cross that i have i've only blown up one transmission and that was my own fault so i've still got one upgraded transmission hanging here waiting to go into something it just might go in that 13 pound truck just because Does, does most kits do that tank? You you know, you build the rear end and the front end and then the transmission and yeah, usually they get you to start with the transmission. Oh, okay. Uh, where I just got confused is they're telling me to um <coughs> and insert insert this the way it is and and put the screws there, but I already have screws. So I already put some little tiny screws there. But then I'm now reading the the thing it says remove the screws so i guess they were just there for me to line it up and hold everything together temporarily until i put these three big ones in yeah. so now i can take off the four screws that are there i should have read the manual more but, but anyways now i know because i just found it confusing what do you mean you want me to put some screws there's already four there yeah, they don't tell you to take them out. They're just for alignment. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they were for alignment earlier, but now in this step ten, they do. Yeah, just take there. them out. Yeah. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have put them too tight. That's okay. What up, everybody? Let her hey, back guru. Hey, guru. Guru. Kevin, the only reason that they discontinued that line is. The demon lines are already going on ten years old. Oh, really? That 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 far, eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
all the ones that I have are their version two, which the only difference really is the axles in the transmission assembly. Okay. But um, they wanted to get into uh, a different part of the trail trucks and go more toward the Lexan bodies only because it's consumer friendly as far as price. Yeah. Not a lot of people wanted to spend $600 on a kit. And then once they get it built, they turn around and bash it and say that it's junk and everything. And Yeah. Well, I wonder how much more it is for a hard body than a uh, Lexan. $100. Um, I don't know. It depends on which one you get. Okay. Uh, you could, you can get them anywhere from a fifty dollar difference to a hundred dollar difference, depending on which model you compare it to. <laughs> but if you price everything for the hard body, you know, let me let me rephrase it. If you price everything for their flagship version. To put on their what they call their A version, which oh, is okay. the least expensive of the kits, it'll actually cost you more than it would to just buy their flagship version. Oh, yeah. By the time you buy the wheels, the transmission, the transfer case, the axles, the links. You know the body, which you get the cab, then you have to buy the hood, then you have to buy the doors, you, then the, the interior, and then if you want the bed, you have to get, you know, you have to look at which one you want. Do you want a regular drop bed or do you want a flat bed, truggy style? Okay. And then if you go to the SUV body, which is the SU4C then the price goes up even more. Kind of interesting this, yep, how it is. This is yeah, right bad. now, my most expensive cross kit is sitting behind me underneath uh, cover. That was 650 or $660. Oh, yeah? That's the top, right, Tony? Uh, right now, yes, this is the top. Yes. Okay. So that transmission looks awful thin. It is. It is thin. There's not much to it. Let me tell you, there's not much to it. Like this is pretty thin. To uh, see how, how thick it is, actually, it's I would say three quarters of an inch. Yeah, three quarters of an inch exactly. Wow. Not even an inch thick. You don't really need anything, but two. There's how many gears in there? Three gears. You yeah. know, the thin. Hey, uh, I some are just my I really like. <laughs> What's that, Guru? I found the Tamaya I really like. You found one that you really like? Yeah. Which one? The Land Freeder. Okay. The Quad Track. Yeah. The, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. the truck. That yeah. new one, right? Yeah. Some people, yeah. That. Uh, oh, that's a new one. Yeah, it's a brand new one. It's a Ford truck with a. Not a. Not a. Not a cooking with gas. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's nice. And it's got tracks. It's supposed to be pretty good. And some people were complaining on the price, but when you really think about it, the tracks for the Traxxas are what, they're 200 bucks for the tracks or three? Right. What, how much are they? There's something, yeah, they're around in that price. Right. Yeah. Like 300, 250, 300 somewhere in there. Yeah. Right, and the so kids 320, so yeah. It's not, it's not bad. Like, I didn't cringe when I saw the price for it or anything. Cool. So, might squeeze one up in there. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it sounds like somebody's going to be ordering one here. <laughs> <laughs> it is a TTO2 with uh, special arms and 
Right. So that means I can trail with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all I want. And what's nice is it, it is a real track. It's not uh, like the Traxxas one. It's like a rubber band. This has an articulating track just like a tank does. Okay. Sweet. And you can flip the track uh, to be very uh, with grooves or not grooves. So there's two different ways you can have it, which is very interesting. Yeah. Now, how the heck am I supposed to pass that? That's like this big it, ball it, right in the A couple driveways to get that. You have to put it through there, huh? <laughs> And it's got two big. It has a dog bone, right? Right. Yeah. They do tell you to grease grease it up. Maybe if I greased it up, it would have went in easier. But I did pass it through. I'll try greasing up the other one just for the hell of it. Sometime with a little uh, lubrication, it goes in a little bit easier. That's yeah. What you said. <laughs> Okay, she's Just holding that it up. I could have took that joke a different way, but I won't. Yeah. We were all thinking it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she went in much easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Both of them are done. Um, like last week, we said a lot of jokes, and we did a lot of jokes, and I basically had to take off the video offline because I got some nasty comments about me telling a very bad joke about Brad. And I'm sorry about that. I was hoping Brad was going to be here tonight, but I am going to talk to him on tomorrow about this. But um, there's three guys that give me nasty comment. One guy that was going to report the video and all that. And those guys, I don't know if they're new to the channel. They don't know me and they don't know me in the history with Brad. I back up Brad all the time. And I've had so many people that told me, stop having Brad on your channel or else I'm going to go somewhere. And I keep bringing Brad on. Like, I really like Brad. And like, yeah, but, Brad is cool. But uh, that guy really got to me um, two days ago. Because what you started... said in the beginning. Yeah. Well, when I was making the joke yeah, about Brad that, being in the hospital yeah. and uh, he fell 20 store down, but he's OK. He fell on his stomach. Yeah. Uh, he says that was very bad. That that's abusive. That's being um, how did he word it? Um, uh, you're dis discriminating, and uh, you're um, that's very bad. Anyways, I go. I'm not like I, I'm not going to start arguing with the guy. Okay. So I would take that with a grain of salt because I, I do, I do, but uh, I'm just saying, I, we, we, I'm, I'm pretty sure basically everybody on the panel is working with a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, uh, a kid? <laughs> I'm waiting for twins, man. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Hey, so. Come on. Yeah, I, I talked to him uh, it was fr Friday I okay. guess they didn't find they didn't find the needle in his arm, so it must have come out and fell out. Okay. But I guess he was there until like six in the morning. Wow. Wow. Uh, well, he'll he'll know the next time he tries to fly a plane. I mean, fly on a plane or walk yeah. to a metal detector. They'll let him know. Hold up. Yeah. Well, beep, I, beep, guess, beep. I guess they did the X-ray. <laughs> right right there. What you had? <laughs> <laughs> If they hit my hip and my leg, and it'd be like, dude, I said I had a rod from my knee to my hip. What is yeah. that? What's that? Where, 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 what? Come on, man. This <laughs> is not detachable. That's what it is. I just, I just give them, we'll walk through the thing and give them the card as it's beeping. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I need these guys now. Yeah, like These are the arms for the rear. Yeah. It's one thing making a video for for this is you you either need a very big cam good camera or a different background because as soon as you start showing a black piece, it just looks black. Like you lose all the details in the black. Yeah, because what is that? That's the arms for the rear. Oh. 
but if you get that track truck it's it's a nice track truck and um, the tto2 is a very nice chassis to play with there's a lot of different options for it so you'll enjoy it yeah i'm over here looking at it now cool I wonder how much should, how much of a difference it is to even switch it from the from the tracks to the actual wheels, or if it's even possible. Yeah, if it comes, I don't, I don't even know, know if the wheels come like, with the kit. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, those look like it's the way the arms are done. I don't. Yeah, think the way they're done. Like the only way you would be able to get away with that is if you had like your own little 3D printed portal kit. To put portals on it because of the way, like I think that's like a portal. Yeah, I was, I was like I said, I haven't looked at it in depth. I was just curious. Yeah, it no, was I was a simple, just, simple, you, simple bolt on and off type of thing or what? No, it was like it was like a little, like a piece like this hanging down, and then the track goes on to it, and the track yeah. it, the, the tread track itself is is a whole little mechanic in its own i don't have my uh magazine of it here <laughs> you don't have the traxxas magazine it, not not with me right now that page uh, stuck together <laughs> yeah it. you should try calling brad to see what he's doing yeah all right we'll do yeah uh, that's unusual. He never misses Tuesdays. Today is Monday. So today is Tuesday. No, Monday. Monday? Monday? What the heck? Yeah. Let me, I, thought this uh, was, I, I asked my you, wife. She says it's Tuesday. In the private chat, I'm going to send you my address for you to send me some of those gummies. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we missing a whole day? Ooh, yeah, geez. boy. <laughs> I can't wait to see this Duck Man episode. <laughs> Duck Man gonna be driving from the roof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seeing Based psychedelic the lights way. and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how you lost a couple of days there, Keith. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That is weird. My wife lost a day, too, because I asked her, I said, is today Monday? She goes, no, it's Tuesday. I'm like, what? Uh, for Jack, it is. Maybe she's thinking yeah. Australian time. Yeah. I hate putting those little O rings in the in the shafts. They tell you to put little O rings in the bottom of the dog bones. Oh yeah, keeps pressure on them so they don't fall out. Yeah. Do they give you springs with them too, or just the O ring? Just the O ring. No lube in that tank. No. Uh, yeah, I did put lube. Oh yeah, you probably put enough in there when you slid the dog bone through, right? Yep. Hello. 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 Hello, Hello, Brad. What up, yes. Brad? Hi. You, you, you all right there? Turn the light on. We can't see you. Yeah. yeah. Well, hold on. I got to. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, go, put yeah. Yeah, go put some pants on. Yeah. Go put some pants Please. Please do that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now I've seen you. I must have missed the other one. Okay, okay. okay. okay that one's done. Now, which one goes on what side? That's the big question. The right one has to go the side on the right you side. haven't done yet, right? Pardon me? The side that you haven't done yet. Okay. 
Yeah, the left one don't go on the right side. No. Uh -oh. Darn. Yeah, one one of the guys at the racetrack made that stupid mistake this past weekend. <laughs> See, I don't like putting grease, but they tell me to put grease uh, like around the uh, the pivot points because that collects dirt when you put grease. But I guess it's better to have some than none, I guess. But so I my yeah, Brad, uh, go ahead. my hot shot is uh, again is missing a piece again. Now look around; you'll find it. I don't know where it is, but I did look for it. Uh, Shen is sending me the piece because he has one. One thing I'd like to know is how come you're missing so many pieces? I don't know how. It shouldn't have fallen out. I had it in the magnetic plate. It should never have fallen out anywhere. Okay. But I did get more done on the car. Good. I'm going to be finished this kit before you finish one kit. Yeah, I know. Uh, bag E. Anyways, my kit's more complex than the one you're working on anyways. <laughs> ah, let that be the reason. <laughs> See, I, I, I got most of the rear end done. Cool. Here's the anti-sway bar pieces. So I heard you, they didn't find your needle? They did it? not see it on the x-ray. The needle to the record. Did they try using a magnet? Uh, they didn't think of doing such a thing. Okay. They have me on antibiotics right now in case something does happen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyways, uh, one of my things broke again. I've been bouncing into it with my arm, and it, it, it just screwed it up, and now it doesn't work anymore. So now I have to wait till the timer clicks down to put in another one. Hey, Brad, this thing has metal shocks. They're kind of cool. Yeah, it, they're 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 uh, they have they're uh, they have those lines in it. Yeah. What's up, Brad? What's up? So, Tamaya kit to put together. What? What about a Tamaya kit put together? I found one to put together. I'm going to purchase it first. Oh, you, you <laughs> because it's more like a crawler to you. Yeah. The TF, yes. You, you, you know, if they can put a hydrogen cell vehicle on one of those chassis, <laughs> that's a very versatile chassis. <laughs> that chassis has gone through so many iterations is not even funny but yeah. it's a use very usable chassis it was very then they think about it it's well designed if you can use it for so many things yeah and they've uh, done it because they just change the arms on it and they just uh, they do rally cars they do all kind of stuff with that one yeah i use the grouse tracks the grouse tracks will give you the most traction where they stick out yeah, the, the rough one, the one that sticks out, yeah. Yeah, the one that sticks up in between slats or whatever, tracks. Are you are you putting in one? You, did you get the kit already? No, no, he didn't get it. He's looking at it. No. Uh -huh. No, I was, I'm, I'm over here putting the rest of the capper together. Oh, I, okay. I, I can't start so one kit, so and I still got one uh, out. So I'm uh, over hey, here looking at the video for the drive shaft. Oh, if you want to see a video of that running, uh, Rex RC has it on on his channel. Look up Rex RC, and you should see the TF uh, TF running. Oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. I'm I'm sub now. I'm sub to Rex. Yeah, Thank he Brad, runs it through Brad, mud. Brad, he runs Brad, it through a lot of Brad, mud. Brad, Brad, you don't have to yell. You're yelling. Thank you. Yeah, he runs it through a lot of mud. That's better. That's the only way to do an RC, man. With mud, yeah. Yeah. Twice as green if you do it in the sand, right? Oh, yeah. The ground, he just, he, you know, I, I asked him, I said, 
every time I see that car running, I'm like, why didn't they use the grouse tracks uh, on it? I'm like, they're using the flat ones. Don't give you as much traction as the grouse does on various stuff. Yeah. And the right stuff like sand and mud and dirt. I don't think my Axial 3 has been in the mud yet. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm sure it's got mud where you can't get it out. Yeah, it's got so mud where it's, mud's not supposed to be. You ever build one of these, Brad? What? I do not have these? a brat. I have, you know, it's also on the brat is the Blackfoot that has so the, the same Blackfoot chassis. uses this chassis? Uh, that and the frog, yes. It's just a, a mild modification to the front suspension. Okay, and that, the and front the suspension is really cool on this the way they've got the front suspension is kind of cool yeah because there's there's a pin and there's a spring and that's what actually does the suspension which is really neat yeah th those metal pieces that go up to the front they kind of remind me of uh an anti-sway bar in a manner of speaking yeah I, I can see why they put it there they put it there for strength so it you can't like bend the whole thing yeah, that's that's actually on the frog chassis, the one but the but the monster beetle and the blackfoot just have springs in that area. Okay. I have the frog of that. I have the frog. That's the frog chassis. Darn, they say locked. I should have locked it. I didn't lock it. Kidding. They they say uh with the diff, if you have a problem where it's separating on each side of it, that you should use 10 by 8 washers. Keep them in place. Oh yeah, yes. But I think they fixed that problem with the newer the, the re-releases. And you know that you, I saw that you have the metal. The, the, you see that it has a metal sidings on the gearbox. Yes, on both on both sides they have the metal. That's not a very thick gearbox. It's friggin' narrow. It's uh, three quarters of an inch thick. Yeah, but with the yeah, believe it or not, it runs pretty fast with the right motor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I put in the they give you three different gears for this kit. Yep. So does my frog. My frog comes with three different gears. Which gear did you use? The high uh, torque? I haven't or used it. I haven't put it together yet. I haven't put it together yet. Okay. I put the high. I put the high speed. Uh what, what is that? The the, the 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 biggest spur with the, the the smallest spur with the biggest pinion? Uh, smallest spur with the biggest pinion. That's what I thought. But it's nice that it comes with three different gear ratios, isn't it? Yep. So in case you break it, you could just go in there and uh, put the other one in, put the mid-speed one in. Yep. Now I build trucks. Hey, you really you like me out. I only have two of them. I should have four. <laughs> no. That car doesn't use the, it's like a torsion bar up front. Yeah, I know. I'm just toying with you. Oh, could you have But you like the cantilever head. setup, don't you? It's not cantilever in front. Well, I guess it could be cantilever. It's like a, a pin that goes inside and it just pushes on it. I was talking about that, the rear. Oh, the rear? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how the heck the shocks are going to go yet. They're, oh, they're, on the, they're cantilever style. Yeah, they're on the side. Yeah, interesting. See, I haven't turned this page as far as this, so. Oh my they, god, they, I'm almost done. They were the first. They were the first to uh, do a cantilever side a, a shock in the industry, I think. Oh, yeah. Yep. If you talk to Tim uh, Traxis, they say they're the one that was doing the cantilevers. But everybody, I don't, I don't think as so. you see. Tamaya has done different variations of it. Yep, yep. Guru, I, I just seen the post for that comp for Saturday. It's fifteen dollars, not five. Okay. Oh. But they're doing uh, a whole bunch of stuff, you know. And it's only class two. Yeah. Um, the last one that they did there, which was two weeks ago, or no, I'm sorry, not this past weekend, weekend before, uh, was 
32 people. Oh, yeah. So the events you go to, how much do they usually charge and do they give prizes? That's yeah, what you're talking one, about. 15. Yeah, this one's got the prizes. Uh, so he's going to be doing something for first, second, and third. Okay. Um, you know, of course, he has a pizza shop right across the street, so he'll get two or three sheet pizzas. Um, you got to bring your own drink, which not a big deal. I got my Pepsi. So uh, most of his, most of the events that I go to are anywhere from ten to twenty dollars to get, you know, to run the course. Okay. Yeah, I charge twenty dollars for the events I host, and uh, I keep ten dollars for the track for for Hollies, in other words, uh, right. for doing renovation or whatever. And the other ten dollars I give all in prizes for either uh, first, second, and third. And sometimes I even buy door prizes with it if I know a lot of people are going to come. So there's different things I do. Right. He might be doing. Um, raffle also so okay it's kind of hard to say he changes his mind like you know like the wind it's he just can't make up his mind until it actually wow he's got a bandana on he looks like he's going to some type of bang at home <laughs> green frogs in the house Ooh, Dang, yeah, right oh. out of woodstock yeah, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, good. How much? These so, cylinders are friggin' nice. Oh, it looks like you just got done gaming. Mm. I got yeah. this a break. I got motor for my holiday buggy. I I took the whole thing apart to try to switch it to 20 degrees because I'm allowed 20 degrees, but it won't turn 20 degrees. I only got it to group 10. Mm. I don't know why it won't move. The ring won't move further. Does it have a 20 degree mark on it? Yes, it does. Go the other way. That's going towards negative. Go the other way and then turn it back again. Sometimes they get a little bit of glue in there from the magnets. Um, you say I put some clay into it. Yeah, go back yeah. and forth a little bit as need be. So yeah. sometimes Kevin you'll get hung up on a little bit of glue coming off the magnet. There you go. Kevin Gibb wanted to see you. Vendetta. You got a show, brother. I'm the Vendetta King, LOL. Yeah, this one's a nasty go. one. Got about a hundred holes in it. What you playing? Cool. Call of Duty. Um, have you ever been in a comp guru? Uh, Kevin Gibbs oh, is asking. This no? will be my first competition crawl. Cool. And it shows y'all how that guy right there turned me out. <laughs> what guy? Uh, <laughs> that's the, the owl says. <laughs> <laughs> who? Uh, who? Well, I'm doing as you say, and it still won't go farther than 10. Well, it did just a little bit to 12. You got to no. keep doing it. Keep yeah, on going back and forth. Yeah, probably a little bit of glue from when they put the magnets in, got in there, and just enough to catch it. You can... Are the holes slotted enough for you to get it to turn that far? Yes. The slot, yeah, it, it looks like it's, you know what? It, it looks like it's not allowing me to go to twenty because look, because I have this space between either side where this, where you know, it could slide around. But then you see where the retainer is, and it stops on either side before it hits twenty. Why do you want to put it to twenty degrees anyhow? For you to get it to turn that far. Sorry. Uh, to get the most out of the out of the motor for this in, this car. So he wants you the fastest in. speed. 
I want it's going to be harder. It's going to be harder on the mortar in USC if you do that. Eh? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna burn the brushes up fast. If it's set normally at five degrees, put it to ten. Leave well, it there. It looks, I, I have it at looks like eleven or twelve. That's as far as it goes. That should be good enough. That's just his voice. If you want to get the the most potential out of that motor, just put a lipo in it. Breaking it to water breaking or something too, probably. Yep. Well, yeah. Definitely. I have three car I have I have cars, three cars I'm gonna put lipos in, and I already have a lipo, uh, not a lipo, I mean a brushless. I have brushless on this hot super hot shot too. I'm gonna be putting a brushless in the fighting buggy, if the fighting buggy, and then I'm gonna be putting brushless uh in the terror scorcher. I will have I will most of the cars. I can't fathom them with, with brushless, even though I could put one in the Blitzer Beetle. I've seen that run on brushless. Now, adjusting mm -hmm. the timing is not going to give it full potential. It's only going to give it a, a different feel as far as punch. Yeah. yeah. But I, the, the punch, it's the, not, not going to give it, it's not going to give it any more speed. Wear it out more too, right? Quicker. I plan on uh, you can't and you, you can't you can't really make a, a great adjustment to that unless you dyno it too. They have right. dy they have dynos that do brushless and brushed. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying, without getting numbers, you don't know if you're improving the performance or lessening the performance out of it. Oh, actually, sometimes I, sometimes if I, you go I too tell, high, I could tell I could tell by ear that it's actually spinning faster. It has a higher pitch than it did when it wasn't on when it was on zero. Yes, but what I'm saying is that higher pitch doesn't mean anything. I I could take one of my motors with the timing and twist it as high as I want to, and yeah, sure, it'll whine like a whine like anything. But you know what? I turn it right back down to nothing, and I can get more speed out of it. Well, one thing's for sure: it also has ball bearings in the in the can so it's full ball bearing i hope so yeah i hope more you usually most motor always have bearings in them i i have a lot of ones that have uh I need to go for bushings me. even the brush motor even the little brush motors got some sort of bearing in it mm -hmm. yeah i know what you yeah, mean it's a brass bushing. bushing some of them yeah but i'm just saying it's still something yeah. Yeah, but I oil those up to to make sure they it frees up the movement in the bushing. Are you using regular motor oil or are you using like a three and one? Uh, he's got a. Uh... That's that's really not good because it will gum up. You do have a three and one for electric motors. Yeah, you want to get regular oil for electric motors, like uh, a real thin bearing oil and oil for the commentator. Because if you put a little drop of oil on the commentator and run it, it doesn't let the carbon build up on them as fast. And it will let the, it'll let the brushes wear in evenly too. You guys are way too technical. I just run it till it breaks, and then I change it. Right. Well, and if so that's only a ten or a fifteen dollar motor, don't even mess with it. What color are they, Kevin? Plug it in and drive it. Yeah. Actually, that that motor was more than twenty. All right, yeah. twenty five. Closer to thirty. Yeah, but you them. don't want to burn it out. What about gel lube or no? no. You want a regular electrical oil. What is that? So no WD-40 products? WD-40 is a cleaner. It's not an oil. No, yeah, it's, it's not a lubricant. <laughs> it takes it takes takes all that oil and grease and gum out of there. 
Pops water dissipation formula 40. They yep. do have WD 40 does have one version of it that it is a oil, but you got to be careful and read it on there. It's it's actually do make oil, but most WD 40 is a degreaser when you look at it and you read the, what it actually does. Uh, yes, it eats rust and things like that, but it is written, it's a degreaser. It's true, they do have many products now, WD 40. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know if Hoppy Hut's still open over there by you in North Royalton area. He's got a lot of that stuff. You know, it, Was that on Lorraine Road? State. Uh, no, that's Family Auto. That's Family okay, Auto. There, there, used to be, there used to be a hobby store uh, uh, years ago, decades ago, uh, on Lorraine Road in North Olden State. 97. He's still open. That's well, I have never. I've I've gone. I've been up and down that road. I don't see it anymore. It's up there. and down what road? On nine on Lorraine. It's on West Ninety Seven, bro. No, 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 no. There was another store that was bigger. Oh, there was a, uh, we're talking, to we're talking late nineties, early two thousands. There was a store closer to uh, Great Northern. No, Family Audio and Hobby. Yeah, I know, Lorraine. and I I already bought some stuff from him. Yeah. All right, then go in there and see if he's got, you know, motor oil and, you know, stuff like that. Use that. Because you can burn that motor up just by putting that little bit of oil in there. And if it gets into the commentator or, or um, around the, the brushes, you will have a smoke show. What did you say that was? Hobby what? Hobby hot. Hobby hot. They used to be on State Road in North Rome. Uh Bad Ales is on Smith. Yeah, that I I you know I've asked if they had anything like that in the past. They don't have that stuff that I was looking for. I have no hobby hut coming up. Oh no. Hold up. Yeah, it's still there. What, what? Hobby hut. oh no, it's not. I'm sorry, because I say 14, 26 miles away. Uh, it's closed now. Yeah, no. Nah. I, I can buy bearing oil online. Uh, he sent me some money to buy stuff for my holiday bucket. A decent amount of money, trust me. I, I'll, I'll be able to use it on more than just that car. I was going to say, what's, what's that, uh, Mylar or something like that? The oil? Um. Yeah, you, it, it's like water. Yeah, it's bearing oil. They call it bearing oil, right? Yeah, but you want the real thin stuff. Yeah. It has to get like a needle needle applicator. Yeah, too. it has a needle applicator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it only and, takes like two drops. And, and, and what do you? Then what do you got? Commutator. Yeah, oil, oil. You mean you don't fill the oil till the mortar's full? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Breaking in an oil. Right. And you just pull out one of the brushes, uh, the brushes, and you put it on the commutator that way, right? Nope. Just leave it alone. I mean. So then where do you put the commutator oil on it? You have to put it on the commutator. You don't have to pull a brush out to do that. Oh, uh, you so put I'm it in a jar of water. With the, uh... On the end bell? Yeah, no. you usually see where that little wheel is and where the commutator hit. You're going to make me get a motor out. <laughs> we got, you put it in through the end bell? Put it in right next to the brush. Yeah, where the brush, where the metal surrounds the brush. Right in the end. All right. See right there, Brad? Wait, I, let me. Right where I'm pointing in here? 
Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. That 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 that's hole the between, commentator. Between the, yeah, you just put a couple drops on that and leave it alone. When you do it, run it. It doesn't and then take the, much. And then you put it, and then you get the bearing oil on the on the ball bearings or bushes, yes. right? One Even, or two little drops on this side, and on the other side, drops on that side, and you're done. Swamper says a little bit of light oil on the motor bushings goes a long way to making it last longer and run faster. Yep, they'll be more efficient. This is the Kyosha Mini Z, stock motor. All I ever do to this when I raced it was put a little drop of oil on the bearings, and this thing ran better than these guys tearing their motors down and, and cleaning them. Well, eventually, if, you, if you've run through a lot of dusty areas, you probably should open up the, the motor to wipe it out. You don't have to. These are sealed can motors. You don't have to open them. You oh, just well. take, take a little bit of air and blow them out. Oh, There's well, no well, reason to open any motor unless there's something seriously wrong. The, kind of well, the, radon, the radon you could take completely apart. I guess that's when you would wipe it out. There I'm building shocks and I'm using my RC pit product. For all your RC uh, needs, go to RC pit products and get your tools. I'm doing Swamp advertising. Is, uh, first of all, Swamps are saying no lube on the commutator. Use a commutator polishing stick if you can find one. Uh, <laughs> Guy Moose is saying just use any light oil from a hardware store. ATF works good too. Uh, that's automatic transmission fluid, I believe. Automatic transmission yeah. fluid? Mass you Masters wondering if you can individually. If you can't find a polishing stick for a commentator, you could always get, you know, the those erasers that were the white and the red. You use the white side on it, and it'll clean them. Shaped like a parallel. I heard that. Yeah, that's up on the pencil, yes. right? No. No, the... The long rectangular looking ones. Just like cut, they're angled on the ends, like a parallelogram. Yeah, yep. one's red and one's white. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah. You can pull the brushes out, pull the end bell off. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, like two, coarse, two coarsenesses of the eraser, the two different colors. Is, is the white yeah. one more coarse? Is the white side more coarse? Yeah, the oh, white side's fine. got a little abrasive to it. The oh. red side is just a plain eraser. Okay. Handy trick. Do you, uh, when you tear down a motor, do you usually want to wipe down the rotor after a while? Blow it off. Uh, Compressor is hard to find these days. Well, if if you if you wipe it down, there's a chance of snagging a wire uh -huh. and busting one of the wraps on it, and you'll never get that motor to run right. Yeah. So just Put take your lips air together. or, or uh, electrical <laughs> contact cleaner, just spray it off and let it dry. Hey, that bearing oil, that'll also work on bushed uh, motors, right? Yes. Man, that's a stiff friggin' spring. Wow. Yeah. Do you have any oh, 10 or 15 weight oil? Well, I put whatever they gave me. Oh, I, I, Shen was saying you should use 10 or 15 weight oil because he says even the, the stuff in Pamiya is thicker than that. But uh, it's not it's not because of the oil because it goes in pretty nice with the oil and it comes out very nice. So it actually works very good. The issue is that spring, just this spring here is a very stiff spring. I'm sure it breaks in after a while. Yeah, probably. But hey, I'm not the first one to build this kit, so it'll see. It's gonna run. It's gonna it's gonna handle the way it's gonna handle. And actually, it handles quite well, better than you actually think because of those tires on there. When you put it around a, a regular track, you know, if it's got some loaminess to it, it it handles pretty well. I've seen it run around track before. It runs better than you would have expected it to. So in perfect the... conditions, it runs okay. Thanks. It handles yeah. better than you actually think it does. I got two bodies for this. So one body, I'm going to do a special thing with it. And uh, the other one, 
I, this this is very nice. I, oh, oh, you're gonna use the, you're gonna let, use the Lexan body for right, driving it around and the hard body for stashing it. I haven't decided one which one I'm gonna do yet uh, because I do want to do something very special with it, and people are I want to wow people. So uh, <laughs> you got two bodies. <laughs> <Those are two. laughs> well, you saw how detailed the, the hard body is. Yeah, put that right there. I, yes. I'm so, how, how did a guru, how did you get, how did you decide that you wanted uh, the T, uh, TTO2 TF? How did you decide just because it has those tracks? Oh. Yeah, because of the tracks. And you don't track, mind the body on it. The body, and I uh, just saw somebody, I think that was 11 Charlie I was just watching. Okay. And they might have spoke about it. If it wasn't them, I was I was multitasking. I was watching videos and Eleven Charlie, so I saw it between YouTube and Eleven Charlie. Hey, at least you'll be able to run it in the winter time <laughs> with those tracks. <laughs> True. Kevin Gibbs said you lost the bet. That's why you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the bet. No, I, I think he was attracted to it for those two reasons, the tracks and the uh, body. Oh. No, nope, nope. and, and he's just going to use the grasshopper to steer at in an unopened box. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> right, right, Guru. Exactly. You're going to drag it around with the cap room. <laughs> the cap is going to sit on the um, on the pedestal like the, 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 the SUC4. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, how, how's, your, how's your wife like her uh, elf? present oh she loves and i dropped the video today it's a good video looks like a good spot oh uh, yeah that's squire's castle yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the horse trail so it actually goes all the way up like it zigzags up the mount up the hill nice yeah thanks did, for did the you, phone call did did, did you did you show them <laughs> that the castle? was a spur of the moment did you show them the castle too in the it's video romantic oh, yeah. no no you need to shoot you. You could have had it. You could have done it. Started off the video where you running it up the grass towards the castle, and then show that you go up the pass. Yeah, no, no detail videos yet. <laughs> but that, but that's what you could have done. You know what I mean? Those means still and I know, I, 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 I know Dennis is familiar with that spot. He's not that far from it. What's that? Squire's, Squire's Castle. Never been there. Oh, well, well no. It's on the east side. It's on the east side. I didn't know that. Oh, well, I got to get you the next time we go. Never been there. Well, well maybe you should like trade phone numbers. A, a trip with him to do that. Oh, trade that phone is. numbers. Guru and Trooper. He's got yeah. my number. Oh, oh. Okay, so you, you, you'd have to tell Dennis. You'd have to tell Dennis, come out here, and I'll show the place to you. Well, how come Guru didn't call Dennis if he went out crawling? That's no fun. That's what I said. <laughs> because my wife said, "Let's go now." I want to play with my toy. She's, she still, she still didn't take off all the wrapping. <laughs> no, she still hasn't taken the plastic off of it. Oh no, <laughs> she's trying to protect the body, isn't she? <laughs> yes. An idea. So she gets the sound machine. What is it? The sound. Oh, oh the a... sound sound thing for it. <laughs> yeah, and the lights. Oh, cool. she's getting upgrades. Cool. Well, uh, she's trying. She's trying to go with like uh, icon, huh? Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be two noisy trucks on the damn trail. <laughs> Actually, three, because uh, one of them got the other guy has that whistling ass uh, outrunner. No, he's got the brushless uh, revolver. Cone. 
Capone's brushless motor on his truck. Hey, at least it at least it'll uh, the 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 horses if they're on the bridle trail will hear it from a distance, <laughs> so they won't they'll be ready to confront it right <laughs> if they come across it. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to have a horses. suspension. Yeah, you like that, up, brother. Hmm. Who's got their Holmes Hobbies Outrunner motor? I thought uh, one of the other ones. I remember somebody having a whistling motor. That might have been that first crawl. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. Frank. Yeah, that, that was when you guys first come out to Nelson's. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Frank, you like the boots on, on, the, on, the, on the shafts? Yeah, they're nice. Adds a... Adds a, a but uh, it has a scale look to it. Authenticity. Yeah, the also because it has the uh, the because a lot of cars have that boot uh, it, with the shaft going through it to protect it. And they keep right. it clean. That's for sure. Yeah. They sell them for some aftermarket shocks. Like RC four wheel drive, I think sells a little boot you can put on your shocks. Oh, yeah. I've seen that too. <laughs> But I'm talking about the boots on the shafts, the drive shafts. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, right. they've got black boots here. One problem is it's another thing to dry rot if it, you know, sits for too long. Well, I think the shafts have to be oiled, didn't they? Yeah, I did put oil on each end. If there's oil inside, where the if there's oil, it uh, spreads onto hey, the. I just boot. thought about it. You was at work. Why are you talking crap? <laughs> what? <laughs> talking to Dennis. He was at work. That was during the weekday. That crawl, <laughs> and it was during the early afternoon. And you busted up one of yours real good. Oh yeah, I fixed that already. <laughs> I fixed that that night on Tank Show. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how you know it was. It was Thursday. That's <laughs> <laughs> on with us usually on Thursdays. Yeah, you was handling a whole different situation. You had Cheech and Chong working with you. <laughs> oh yeah. But now, now you know you need to take him to Squire's Castle. Oh yeah, most definitely. And that's beautiful, even with the little thin, dustery snow. <laughs> yeah, we had we had about an inch of snow. You know what, Brent, it, down further south from us, he had more snow than we did. Yeah, I got Man. about an inch. Must not have been lake effect or something. Yeah, it did get some slushiness on the pavement, but the pavement wasn't all right. The pavement covered, but it had some coverage, but not a big coverage. I didn't have yeah. coverage on my pavement. Yeah, it's it's not not Brent enough. did. Yeah, Brent did. Just roofs and yards, bushes and cars, and, and, right. and grass. Yeah. yeah Brent just had the not grassy areas are going to collect it. Ground's not cold enough for it yet. Mm -hmm. right. I'll give it another week of this damn 37 shit. Yeah. Uh, 34, I'm sorry. Oh, is that what it is now? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I was inside all day. It's supposed to get to the it's supposed to get in the 50s and 60s again, and that's gonna drop into the upper 30s, the low 40s. Uh I picked my son up from the library. You need all of that cool. What's up, Jake? I got all of that cool. Yeah, believe it or not, Guru, that kid, he actually came back today thinking he had a job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, surprise. What did he say? I just left the hospital. See, I got my bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, uh, he just tried saying that he was going to go get help. Oh, oh yeah. That, that's that's nice. Go get it. Because it's still not going to get your job back. Hmm. Pretty sure I'll be able to find something. Oh, uh, Shen sent me. Shen sent me some of his grease. I uh, he sent me the heavy grease and the silver stuff he has, like Tamaya's, and he had a light one. And I used the light one to put stuff in the suspension. You know, little things that go through this part here. I've used the grease from that. Uh, yeah, it yeah, works pretty good. Somebody was mentioning earlier: be careful using petroleum products on gaskets for shocks and stuff that can eat the gaskets. Yeah, you got to watch. You don't get a lot of it on plastic because it'll make the plastic real soft too. What's what? 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 what, who, what? I, was, I try to stay away from. It was AZ froggies. I try to stay away from petroleum-based fluids on the shocks. Some can eat up the seals or the pistons. Well, there, mm -hmm. this, there's. I don't have the suspension, the shocks in that, so haven't haven't used that yet. And usually, I use the silicon fluid for the O-rings, like I tell you. Right. Yep. Yep. Just get. So it'll slide through easier. Yeah, but the, these are the shafts that hook. That they're they're smooth. Mostly they have a little bit of thread. And, and, no and, and then the, the the rest of the shaft drives goes right into here. Okay. You say oh, Guru, no. there's no THC in it. <laughs> no, it's THC in this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty weight. Show you my shot for this. Hey, uh, it looks like you could put the mortar on e either side, that side or this side. It goes on both sides. I got her. You got her. My daughter. Oh, you usually got uh, 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 one of those things for hair? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got. I found one of my childhood toys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I've never seen one that small. I've never seen one that small for what oh, you he's, hit with. He's not small. Hey, Guru. That's oh, there you go. That's going to be a good idea. Sure. Is that different? That's what I need right there. Uh, huh? No, he's not small at all. Well, oh, di is that diff loop? Yep. That was the hawk, yeah. That's a light diff loop. loop. It's a thousand weight. Usually <laughs> people are putting hundred thousand weight in things. You say a thousand weight? Yeah, he yeah. has a thousand weight. That's light. No, I don't got Not for shocks, it's not. Oh, well, yeah. shocks, that's very thick for shocks. Yes, it is. <laughs> you just don't want it to bend too much in, uh, when you have flexing. Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to slow the flex? You want the suspension to move as slow as you can. Like that's I said, I yeah, I'm only going up to 100. Weird. He had dip oil. Buggies need lighter Keegan, oil. Keegan, you got some dip oil. Fast. Jesus. <laughs> what oil are you, or uh, <sighs> what shocks are you putting on the capper? Just the stock shocks, or you, you get like the desert lizards? And you Good already got a there, Keegan. What oil did you put in them? None yet. I was about to put the 60 weight in them. 50. Hey, it, when you want uh, more traction in the rear, you put lighter it's weight in the shaft, right? You want more traction in the rear? You put lighter, stiffer. softer oil in the back, right? Stiffer. It'd stiffer? be stiffer, yeah. Stiffer. And mm -hmm. for for the front, you you want uh, uh, do you, what, do you want lighter in the front? Oh, for, for a buggy yeah, and stuff. You don't, you don't want it too light because. You want your suspension to move slow so you can get over uh, if there's a hole between the rocks, you don't want that tire to drop down in the hole because it, it can flip you over. Oh, I, I was talking about for traction when you're running a, like a buggy, which is faster going over ground. So I would think you'd need softer to get more traction. No, it, it's... Um, that's all on how you have your shocks and your suspension set up as far oh, as your, your I was going to say you know, run, running flat is a lot different than running banked 
yeah, if say I'm, I'm racing on road, I'll set everything on my suspension as far as my my alignments. Everything will be at two degrees positive on the rear. It'll be two degrees negative for the toe. And then I'll put a 40 weight oil in the back, a 30 weight oil in the front with a, a stiff spring in the rear and a medium weight spring in the front. So I, I have some different, for, for the, the super hot shot, they have piston rings that have holes in them. If right. You, um, I could have four, I could have one with two with uh, or one. And I think there, there, I thought what, I thought that there was two with smaller holes, but I see that they, so there's one with no holes. There's one with one hole, one with two and one with four. Now, yeah, which, the, one, the one with no holes, the oil is going to go up along the side of it. Yeah. Lighter. So that shock's going to move faster. The other shocks, depending on what weight oil you put in, you could actually get them to work slower. With the more holes. Uh, if you have one with the four holes in it, you put a 50 weight oil in it, the shock's going to move slow. If you put oh, 50 man. weight oil in the shock with two holes, the shock's going to move real slow. So I think, I, think they could, I think they tell you to use the two hole one in the directions. Well, you can really use whatever you want. It all depends on how you're going to drive it and what you're going to drive it on. Well, nice. it's fast, so if it's 4,600. What would you? What holes one would you use for the front and rear? Speed is irrelevant to your suspension. Temperature is going to make a difference. It's hard to say. Are you going to jump it? It might accidentally jump going over terrain. Or accidentally. Well, yeah, the, it, the, it, the it ground has to, undulations in it. The ground has undulations in it. Right. Running it over. Be covered by the warm. Right, but if you're building it to run it on something that you are intentionally going to jump, you build the suspension accordingly. If you're just going to run it flat ground and, and hit a couple bumps here and there, just make the suspension a little bit softer. This way, it'll it'll absorb that. Okay, so uh, well, I'm I'm expecting sometimes when I run over things that it might hit a ditch somewhere in the ground that you don't see and it'll jump. Well, you know, Brad, right, that's that's just set that's up. That's a given. Thing. I'm not Only expecting to do a lot of jumps with it. I'm just expecting to accidentally have jumps. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah, you're not going to jump it off. You're not bringing it to the skateboard and jumping it. Hey, Brent, yes. Brent, are you, are you going to bring it out over a pitcher's mound like I was doing? No, I'm... Uh, <laughs> there you go. Over a pitcher's mound? Yeah. Are you, gonna, are you actually going to get air like I was? It might get air at 4,600. It might get a lot of air. <laughs> Like I said, that 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 uh, mud boss, when I was jumping it, I have you're getting two, three feet I, high. Well, yeah, exactly. Are you intentionally jumping it, or are you, you know, accidentally going to bump into something? That's that's what we're getting at. Uh, I might occasionally jump it off the front pitcher mound. God, you're gonna wreck if you're going to intentionally jump it off of things, you have to I'm build afraid. your job to the way you're going to drive it. Yeah, plan on jumping it if you're gonna possibly jump. I'm not jump. planning on taking it to a skate park, but I plan on having it be able to deal with that. No, no we're gonna get you to a skate park. It's a quick. I'm right. not taking my tire to skate park. I'll wear off my tires too. I don't want my tires worn out. Here's it. Let, let's just put it in layman's terms. Are you gonna run it in the street or are you gonna run it on an off-road dirt track? Off-road dirt track. Small field. Grass. Build it like you're gonna drive it. Yeah, you, you build the suspension for running it on off-road dirt track. Don't build it the way that they tell you in the book because that that's just a starting point. That's all that is. Yep. Listen, hey, I like got baseball. I got, a lot. 
I got four different pistons and four different shock oils in my race car, in my race cars. Tuned it. Yeah, well, I, I have several different pistons Change here too. So I, I have three different types here. Yeah, four different types. I have four different types uh, of uh, pistons. I mean, that goes on top of the piston, like I showed you right here. But you're not going around in circles like like he is, so you should be able to yeah. use similar ones in the two rears and similar ones in the two fronts. If not, Mercy I'll Mass Master it. says we want to see Brad send it. <laughs> yeah, uh, at least one of his kits. Well, it, it, well if then, you watch some of my videos, the grasshopper and that hornet jump over the pitcher's mound. So <laughs> I gotta do is jump, catch it, catch it, and be safe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad, what we're telling you to do is drive it like you stole it. Yeah, yeah, pun there, it. Keegan. You'll be safe <laughs> jumping over the pitcher's mound. <laughs> What shock oil do you have, Brad? Uh, it's their soft oil. I think they consider it one or two hundred. What? He always has whatever, whatever. All he has is whatever comes in the kit. Yeah. I was thinking of buying some fifteen or ten weight oil from uh, Associated. That's Just not put shocking. The, put the no. two whole pistons in it and leave it alone. Yeah, what they give you too. There's no point in buying two, anything until you know. Rear? Yeah. That yeah. and probably uh, the soft 40, set. They, uh, I ha actually they say that it's a medium set because it's uh, no wait yeah no it's a four hundred because it's yellow. The soft set is 200, 300, and four hundred, and the, the kit oil is, I think, yellow. It's still high. Is that shock oil or dip oil? That's shock oil. Talking. That's high. That'd be a different yeah, measure than weight. Yeah, and I was going to say that's high. Wow. It's like PSI or something like that. It, it, yeah. it, they say here, it says here, uh, options. It says soft. And the car, the kit comes with 400 and it's in the soft realm, the highest okay. of the soft realm. Diana Moose just said that that would be CSI, not weight. Yeah. Still two hulls? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah, they they have they have three three different weights in each section. They have three in the medium and three in the hard and three in the soft. And when you so I'm on the higher end of soft, higher the harder end of soft. Uh. When you put your shocks together and you have your spring on there, does it have the adjustable preload on it, or do you have to put Yeah, I mean, it has system? preloaders. It has preloaders. It comes with preloaders, the, the, the set. Don't run a lot of preload on it, so your suspension will, everything will kind of sit level. Yeah. So put like a thin one, a thin a thin spacer. If any. But, well, if it threads, you don't have to put a spacer in. Oh, no, it right. doesn't have that. It has spacers, as I see here. And they seem the to be on the, I, I use the you this is the short the, I think this is the uh are the shocks yeah. threaded on the outer part of the body? No, they're not. I have to use spacers and the, the short the thinnest spacer is this one. Just use the medium. Use the medium spacer. Okay, that is the medium spacer. That's all they gave me in the kit. And for the smallest. Yeah, just put the medium on there. Put that oil in with the the, the two hole piston. Drive it. No need to get all technical on it then. Yeah, well, uh, some mm -hmm. of my cars uh, came with real thin ones. I mean, they're like not even a millimeter thick. <laughs> some some of the cars come that way. Well, yeah, that's for like race applications where you're trying to tune it. Yeah, you're fine tuning the shock. Yeah, they, those spacers could be used where you stack them. Takes them out, put in more in that type of stuff. That's how that's how you tune the jacks on these, yeah. right? Oh it no, have, Brad! Uh, they gave me a brushless my uh, uh, br brushless ESC. Oh no, they screwed up. Combo. No, they didn't. That all their all their motors are all their most of their cars now come with a brushless ESC. But they gave me a, br a brushless ESC with a brush motor. They screwed up. That's no, no good. No, no. I'm gonna have to no. return it. That's no good. No, that's not true. You can't two of the wires together. 
It's also oh, okay. made to <laughs> <laughs> So add a third wire to the motor. Yeah, it should be all right. Slap it's it on the right with Frank. Frank knows that it was, it's set up to take, you can set up to play uh, to blue brush too. I do? Put, the, put the red and black together. Ah, okay. The, the yellow, the, the, it's the yellow and the green. That's that's all you need to use on that. It's a brushed and brushless system. It tells you in the directions how to set it up for either. Yes. Just Brad, never cut the red wire. <laughs> uh, that that I you know that that's if that's a is that a TBL04 a TLB TBL2 <laughs> the two right? This is a two. Yeah, uh, believe it or not, there I've opened one of those up. It actually has some waterproofing on it. It's splash proof. Sure. Well, so what so, they do cover it up halfway, like half ass, and it's okay. It's yeah, it's not. It's, it's not like what I do, but you can tell there's something on the board. I'm still gonna run it till it uh, breaks on me, and then I'll change it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I always you found some. Their, I found some, those one button uh, setups. I find them kind of difficult to use. <laughs> programming wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even go into programming. I just run it. Not for these, anyways, but for my crawlers, yeah. It already but, comes out uh, to take brushed. You have to set it up differently if you're going to run brushless with it. Yeah. Hey, Frank, Jake said that he got the same one in one of his kits. Okay. The TBL04? No, TBL04 no, is the new one. I don't know what the number is. He just said he got the same one in his kit. Yeah, it's the yeah. TBL02. I do have their ES yeah, and the Claude. They have one that I, they, I forgot what they call that one. It's not I. It's not that one. It has takes two motors, so it has has both ends on that one. Forgot the number on that one. Come on, Brad, you're slipping. You're slipping yet? Yeah. Well, Frank, you have a Claude. You know what ESC it came with. Yeah, it comes with an ESC, and I put it on there. I don't. I don't care what model it is. <laughs> I don't right. look at the numbers anymore. I don't. It begins anymore. with a T. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I want to say it's a, it might even be a TEU something. I just know it does two motors. That's all I know and that's all I care. The WTFIC. <laughs> I know, I know with that ESC, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get the 860 that runs two motors. Okay. A hobby wing one? Nice. Yeah. Because I can put 20 turn motors on it with that. This has a switch. Big friggin' switch. Hey, Brad, this, this is just, just a question. Are you trying to get as much speed out of all these Tamayas as you can? Or are you just building them to... To do that, or actually, I'm not trying to believe it or not. I I want them to go as uh, certain speeds for each model. Not all of them to be fast. I want some faster than others, and some not as fast as others. Half the cars he has built in his head already. Oh. That, that, that's that's, that's how I, I Dennis. I want my my hot shots not uh, to be not my hot my super hot shot to be faster than my my Hornet and Grasshopper and Grasshopper too. I want the holiday buggy faster than them. Now, I want the lunch boxes to be slower than the than the than the grasshopper and the hornet. All right, the reason I'm asking is because you're you know you're saying the twenty turns and, and well twenty turns. I'm, I'm not done. I'm, I'm not done. You're talking about low turn motors and high KV brushless. You know. Build them, drive them. It, yeah, but I certain cars I want faster than that. That's that's I know that you don't understand my method to my madness, but uh, <laughs> but that's how I am. I, I picture a car the way I want it in speed, and I picture other cars the way I want that one with speed. Like, uh, I know that uh, a 20 turn okay. motors for a uh, 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 a clod is actually a pretty uh, pretty usable system in there. A lot of people use 20 turns in them. The reason I'm asking is because you're you're putting a lot of high speed motors in everything. 
You and do like speed, right? You're, you're always saying, how, how fast can that go? Well, my right. grasshopper. I mean, it, it, it's, now hold on. It's not about how fast they can go, it's how well they can go. You want it to be efficient. You don't want it to break. It, you want to be able to keep using it as long as possible without having to buy parts. That's the only reason I'm asking. I mean, you know, I don't know anything about you. I'm not saying that you don't have the money, but, you know, if you don't have the money to buy certain things, don't spend all your money on fast motors. Just whatever. I, I'm not done. Whatever comes with the kit, just run it. That's what I do. Actually, a 380 motors is pitiful. I do not run 380s in my car. Right. So that's right. five four year I get that. All right. I understand that. Now, think about that. If they're building this kit and they say, okay, we're going to put this 27 turn in this kit because that's the way this kit is built and the way it's designed to handle the power. Why would you turn around and put a 17 turn in it? Because you can. Or why would you turn around and put a 3,800 KV in it? They it's give you the motor specifically for the way the kit was designed. Mm -hmm. Basically, what you're doing is you're overpowering plastic. I've also I, I also go by what people I've seen who've had uh, success with certain motors in their cars that are more than you would expect them to think, and I but, I, but I see how that is. Of it. It's going to shorten the life of an RC if you overpower it. Right, and and I understand what you're saying as, as far as watching other people do it, but again, I don't know your situation, but do you have the same budget that they have? where you can turn around and do what they're doing. And if it fails, can you afford to put it back to the way it was beforehand? Eventually, yeah. But not, not as fast as them, but eventually. Filthy Kill says he's used budget brushless systems in most of his. I, I, I know most of my cars are actually gonna be brushed. They're not gonna be brushless. Most of them are gonna be brushed. Faster brush motors, slower brush motors. I know that, uh, a lot of the cars, even uh, to my even says uh, optional torque tune for this car. So they know it can take a faster motor too. the way they have the car came out. So they say torque tune, like for uh, for a lunchbox, a, a torque tune is an option for it because it, it was made to take a torque tune. So right. well, but what now, the kit. now, now listen to what you just said there. A torque tune versus speed. Torque is torque. Torque is low end. Torque yeah. is not speed. But the torque tune actually, I've also looked up its RPM ratings, and I torque tune is actually faster than the than the 540 that comes with the kit. So it's actually faster than the one that comes with the kit. So what, but maybe about 5,000 RPM? Within that realm, yes. That's not much faster. You have to be able to put, you have to be able to put the power into that motor to get that that RPM. Uh, they, the, they also show that some cars can take sport tunes, which are 23 turns, but they have zero degree. Oh, it, it's, all, about, all, I'm saying is, all I'm saying is build them the way that they designed them and run them with what they have there. Then go and do the upgrade. Especially if it's holding you up from a build. Don't wait to get something you don't yeah, really need. I mean, well, I, I... How far I are you on that first build right now? I just finished uh, putting together the... like I, I have the two gearboxes done, but not everything's on them. You see, just as far as I went with the rear gearbox. Now you got a missing part you got to wait for, right? Yep, and that's for the steering. By the time you're done, I bet another one comes up missing. This is this kit's gonna be kind of a nightmare, and I don't know why. 
your, your <laughs> working surface is small. It's probably on the floor somewhere hidden or something. You know? I, I never, I, the problem is I had everything I needed in the magnet hole. It shouldn't the have piece, come out. The piece so, that you're missing. Yeah, is but it does sometimes. Plastic. It, yeah, if, it, it's no, magnet. it's not plastic, it's metal. Okay, is it on your motor maybe or on a magnet? You know, motor, yeah. motor. Okay. Nope. I find stuff on motors all the time. Yeah, all the time nope. I find stuff on the motors. Nope. Okay. No. Nah. It it is. I mean, I had a kit where something was messed up. Usually, they go by weight or something to check it in the end. You know. Well, Picture unfortunately, to one screw could be definitely missing for sure. It's odd that every kit has something missing. Well, I've had two things missing from this, and I and I know everything I was going to use is put in the bowl, a magnetic bowl, and I think those particular parts do stick to, uh, to magnets. So I know Axiomatic had a shifting uh, lever that can, it goes on one of the shifters for one of the haulers that was missing. So they do have missing parts and kits. But... Oh, uh, Friday night kits, man. It, a a right. Dennis, I, 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 uh, I actually, I was going to go to it uh, with the holiday buggy. It comes with friction dampers. So I'm going to go put oil filled diapers on it. Makes it more durable with the oil filled. Sure. Well, I don't think it'd be more durable. I think it'd just be more controllable. Right. Which, 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 how, well, it'd be more controlled, but it'd be more, uh, it'd be able to take more shock to the body with the shocks in it, the oil field. It'd be more functional, sure. Yep. And I'm putting a 17 term. My, my friend Rex, who lives in Canada at Rex RC, he has this one and he's got the friction dampers in it and he's running a 12 turn in it. And I'm like, I put oil filled dampers on that, so I don't have to do it. So I have a, actually a weaker motor than he does that he that he's running in his, and he's running with friction dampers. And does that motor that you have for yours did that come with the kit? No, and neither did his. Do you have a motor in that kit? Yeah, it's a three eighty. It's wimpy. How do you know it's wimpy? Have you run it yet? I've run three eighties before. They're not fast unless they're in a WL toy. All depends on the gearing. I, yeah, I've seen them, I've seen them I've seen them run with three eighties. They're not fast, like twelve miles an hour. If you're lucky. Okay, so you're back to talking about speed, <laughs> not functionality. He likes thirty miles an hour. <laughs> that seems to be his. No, at least twenty. Ground. At least twenty at the very minimum. That's what I like. Five miles an hour. I more than. Yeah. To me, it can go faster than that. I give you an RC with a string on it again. You'll be happy with 12 miles an hour. You know, a quarter but one. He, he, he was running it around a track with friction dampers in a 12 turn. He has it on his video. I'm like. And he didn't break anything, which I was surprised. This has got a stock 380 in it. Okay. 12 miles an hour on four triple A's. It's all stock. Yeah, but the gearing is. But we're talking different. about a ten scale car. You, you yeah, don't the want the gearing is different. <laughs> this is a one twenty four scale, and and the car I'm doing is more than twice its size. Twice its size, three times the weight. Right here. How many warriors do you see on that motor? Just right oh, now. that's a little brushless. Just still swimming? Yeah, that's a, it's a little brushless. Yeah. Four double A or four triple A's, 26 miles an hour on a 124 scale. And that's, but, but that's, what, that's like a millimeter off. That's like a millimeter off the ground, too. <laughs> Stock out of the box. I don't change it unless. It's broke. Run what comes in it. And then when it does break, you're not broke to buy the part that you need. Actually, uh, somehow my maintenance on my dirt tune that would have my grasshopper had, it isn't working right. So I'm, I have to buy another one. The car didn't break. Right. The car didn't break with it running a 17,000 RPM motor in it. And the car come, usually comes with a 380. And it's it doesn't go through much if you're running a 380. 
might want to keep an eye on temperatures the way you, you like to hit the trigger a lot and stay on it until the battery's dead more or less you might be overheating it, the motor. It, 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 i i've noticed the motor doesn't get that hot with the seventeen thousand. And, and okay and it's a 32 pitch gear so nothing's broke uh, uh nothing uh, mechanical is broken on the grasshopper just the motor just the motor right yeah might have just got a bad motor or a lot of that could also be when you uh, tear it down to clean it constantly uh, you actually can't really you all you could do is remove the brushes it's not tear downable oh i'm just yeah, i'm just you, you don't need to do maintenance all the time unless you're running like multiple packs every time you're going a out of, a lot of surfaces i'm running on a lot of them are very dusty and sand sand ridden so blow it out you know compressed air is definitely compressed air is very expensive and it doesn't last very long uh, Johnson, yeah, you, you need a compressor you can't be buying compressed air dusters or whatever that's pretty expensive for sure yeah ten dollars a can or more whatever not I to mention if you're spraying it indoors, in it's good for you. All right, press it to be on the big side. Here you go. Do you know how often I tear down a motor? Presser is about 100 bucks. That'd be a good investment for oh, you. Oh, hey, right? Jake. <laughs> Brad, do you know how often I tear down my race motors? Never. Uh, once every year. Once when a year. Break. <laughs> <laughs> or unless they break. They break. <laughs> Jake, what are you building? In a perfect it's, world, Brad, you, you, you'd, yeah, you'd, you'd be like, oh, yeah, he, I forgot. He, it's he Jake. Was that was who it was. Hey, so Jake, is, that a, is, that your, is that the Tamaya you're building for the build off? Yeah. Which one is it? The PC01? No. It, it's the, the um, Supervante? No. The one with the trash bag. Oh, he's building. He's building. He's building the one you want, Guru. Yeah, and I said that's who it was. Greenlander. I, I mean, Land Reader. Like yeah, it, and it didn't come with the hex drive. Have Phillips screws. <laughs> Did he come with hex screws? It actually came yeah. with hex screws. Uh huh. Cool. That, that 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 I did not know it came with hex screws. Not all of them, just some. At least right. it's better than none. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, what Stop made you pick that, that one? Are you going to FT? Huh? Technically, it's for my son. But you're going to use it. You're definitely going to put it through its paces before your son drives it. Oh, are you using yeah. the grouse? Are you going to use the grouse tracks? Um. Yeah. When I get to there, that's cool. going to be a nightmare in itself. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hear. I hear it's very time consuming to put the tracks on. There's three of bags of parts just for the tracks. Hmm. you're gonna have it done by the build-off time oh yeah it's, it's already like yeah so so what do you think of that kit it's different mm -hmm. it, it it just shows the versatility and of the tto2 here you go brad here you go just just so uh, i got bearings <laughs> okay well I, I i tell people never to build a kit without ball bearings it's stupid <laughs> oh, so well, this one, bearings. it yeah. There's like come with some ball bearings. bearings? It does come like with nine, some ball bearings. No, it doesn't come with any. But I think like if you order the fast Eddie's kit, it's like ninety bearings. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it's like hundred bucks in bearings. Shush. You're actually better off not having bearings, I heard, in like the track systems. Once the dirt and crap gets into them on the tracks, it's not so great. That's why you yeah, see no, I'm keeping that, the the bushing. Yeah. I only bought the TTO2 bearing, so it's just uh, the drive line, basically. Yeah. yeah. I, Are you mean the, 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 the shaft driving and the differentials? Oh, that's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and I didn't have time to wait for the actual bearing kit for this thing to come i think come that thing takes 90 bearings something like that hang on that's Tracks more than off. that's more that's that's more than that's more than yeah. the the, the, the drive 
got bushings on both sides of each track. You got to think keeping it balanced yeah. for track. That's amazing. That has more bearings than the than the uh, the long head. The, the T version of the the Dyna, Dyna head. That's that's more than the Dyna head. You are correct. Well, each track setup's probably got sixteen bearings in them. You know your your that's rollers and then the bogey wheels. Yeah, and then the pivot point where the shafts come in. Yeah, the shaft where it comes in in the middle of them all. Sorry, 92. 92. That's the most bearing kit I've ever heard of. The Dyna had had it for the longest time. Now they, that one beats it. Yeah. By a lot. Is that detouring you yet, Guru? What? 92 bearings that you'd have to put in that truck? Uh -huh. If you were going to do the whole thing, I just bought the T, the TTO two kit. Um, he'll he'll do those bearings later. He'll happen. do those bearings later. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. How many bearings are in the Capra? Not ninety two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any car has ninety two. Probably like twenty. Oh. I don't even think that probably have as much yeah. bearings as a tank. I think there might be a total of 12 oh. bearings in the Capra. Well, it's got portals, so there's some bearings in the portals and stuff, too. You gotta keep yeah. Yeah. And two on each portal. So by heart, how many um, how many teeth does a Traxxas servo have? 25. Is it 25 mm -hmm. or? Yep, it's 25. 25, 25 spline? They call it 25 spline, isn't it? With the Very spline? few have 23. Yeah, 25 spine, yeah, 25 tooth. So, uh, a uh, yank, that's uh, that's not uh, a simple kit, it sounds like. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it to somebody For a beginner. Who's never built a kit before. No, <laughs> tracks of servo horns are a little weird too. They've got like an offset at the end of the servo horn where you put the screw in. You know yeah. what? You know what's funny is that 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 your uh, MO6 is still going to be faster than it. <laughs> well, yeah. It it only comes with a thirty five turn. So. Yeah, I know. I know the heat, the motor, and like the TRX like four. Like the, you know, do you like the might... brush motor that comes with? Yeah, yeah. running. I don't know. It, it's right there. It's in there. Does it look, does it look it's pretty? a good-looking motor. It, they always make good-looking motors. It looks pretty. So we'll, we'll see how long <laughs> it lasts. It's a crawler motor. Climber shots. A crawler motor. Yeah. Climber shots. <laughs> good-looking motor. It's a good-looking motor. Started in yeah. some of those motor pictures. Jeez. <laughs> Put in your that, that motor. That motor's got to be thirty-five to forty bucks. <laughs> so it's not a cheap motor. Yeah, I'll run it for now. It'll likely build up a lot of heat with all the extra work it's doing. Yeah. yeah. You have a good looking hot motor. I am tempted to uh, put a fusion motor in it. Try it but with that one and then change one it. First. Was that Frank? Try it with that one first, then change it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I'm going to run this one for, for now. If nothing else. It's good for more videos that way. Yeah. Hey, uh, like I like I said, Rex RC, he shows that running through mud, big time yeah. mud, <laughs> with the cross tracks. I know where he runs his truck. Yeah, you don't live too far from him, don't do you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Probably... You know, he found a track to run off road cars. Probably within an hour. Okay. Yeah, he's been running his car on a track he found. A lot of people go join him up there. Yeah, you should try to find that track and uh, see what it's all about first. Therefore, that that can uh, you can get some uh, stadium trucks to run <laughs> or your little tracks on it. <laughs> I say I don't really have track cars. Yeah, but your little tracks, little tracks would work on it. Oh, well, my little boob. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's a what, nice track. I think that's what Frank said it was, Teton. 
Yeah. <laughs> T Don. My little boob. My little boob. <laughs> no, I do. One thing's for sure. That means if you if you could find that track, you could actually yeah, you could run that too on it. Yeah. I could fix my slash too. Yeah. Good. And run that there too. Should do something with it. It just sits there. You know, Red is actually a very smart guy. You, you hear how he talks on his videos. He, oh, yeah. He, he, especially about the one with the buggies, how he likes the old uh, buggies from the mid 400 and stuff. That was a good video. Yeah. Yeah, that ECX right there, the torment would work too. Oh, yeah, that's my son's truck. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you could take your son to that track and you can run those on there. Problem with that truck is it needs better tires. It, the tires come with it are plastic. And it, did you notice that the track has some embankment on it? It has a decent amount of embankment. Oh yeah. Well, I mean That's what John would have liked, even though it's not an oval. There is a track like five minutes down the road for me, but it's yeah. You need to be a club member to use it. Oh yeah. yeah. That one seems to be a free-for-all where he goes. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? It's in uh, in Toronto. No, I'm, I'm saying he says a free for all. Brad said that. I'm like, Ooh, yeah, you don't oh. have to pay to use it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a track somebody just built, and you can just show up and run. Yeah. Has some jumps and some. Not that it's a medium sized track. It isn't that small. Was it off road? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Sounds all right. Jay's like your sweatshirt guru. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping Jake will enjoy driving it if his son doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be interesting in this. Film. This is what get, that, that's what Google means. Gassed oh. up, revved up. Okay. <laughs> not not something like not like a guru like the Indian gurus. Oh, it's a double entendre. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's definitely an acronym with the periods in there. Yeah. How many pieces, how many parts are in there? Are, there's like three levels of parts in there? I got three bags of these damn things. Oh, oh, that's the tracks. Yeah. <laughs> are they the brass ones or the plastic ones? They're plastic. plastic ones. But I think they, they might have like rubber pads on them from the looks of it. It's very, it would be a very light rubber. It wouldn't be, it, it might not be entirely all plastic. I think it's some rubberiness yeah. on them. Raider Mass Master. All right, Mass Master, take it easy. It'll add more. If there's a little bit of rubberizing, it'll add more. Uh, add more durability to it. Have a good night, Mass Master. Tug of war with the T Rex forward tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Speed versus. You know, you've, seen that, you've seen that thing run. It actually runs over things pretty smoothly. Yeah. Yeah. Derek Sanson, all the gases from the bean burritos grew. I, I was I was surprised you said it again. The, the Maya thing. I was surprised to hear that, Jake. I didn't hear you was that. He said uh Psycho 13 Garages is the gas from all the bean burritos. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Your, your name gassed up? Revved up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guru i sent i think i sent you a video of the gas powered uh monster truck from maya years ago here we go it's a lie uh, don't know you should send it again probably brad <laughs> <laughs> i have a tamaya with a traxxas servo <laughs> people would I say that those two heresy People would say that's probably holds up in a tomorrow. It's all right. It's probably stronger than theirs. 
Oh, it's a metal servo on top of that. It's the 2075X. Yeah. So it's a nine kilogram. It's going to be good enough for this. I could use that's what I have in my MO6. Oh, yeah. So, what are you trying to say that my kit's improving already? Oh, it's got upgrade yeah. in it already. <laughs> yeah, I've just put an upgrade in this. There you go. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I it's forgot not, to tell you guys. I forgot to tell you guys. Since there's a sh chip shortage, they're using Hobby Wing ESCs in the blockhead. I think they're going to be using Hobby Wing ESCs in their kits for now on for a while. Blockhead. Who the Tamias? Tamias? Yes, the new blockhead has a Hobby Wing ESC on it. It says right on the box. Hmm. Blockhead. What do we call that? I said, that? I said. I said. There you go. An upgrade right off the bat. I don't know, if, Frank. I don't know if you'd call that an upgrade or not. And RC called the blockhead. I gotta see this thing. The blockhead, the blackhead, wild one, blockhead, wild, wild one. I, I, I oh, yeah. Uh, uh, our friend Tony showed it, and he says it comes with a hobby wing. So therefore, you get an uh, upgrade, a hobby wing ten sixty in it. Hmm. Price change. It tank like I was, like I was saying. I don't know if that's an upgrade. Since it didn't come with it, true. But it came; it's coming stock in the box, so therefore it is an upgrade in the stock box. And we're Frank looks tiny. Oh no, there you go. It's about the servo on that kit. It, 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 in. It, probably, it probably would have been a TBLO four, but since not many kits have them now, uh, but the, the chip shortage. But for a brush motor car, I mean that's a that's a good upgrade brush ESC. Yes, Brad, it is. <laughs> So I got oh. to unsolder this Tamiya connector and put a D. Does it come with a Tamiya connector still on it, Brad? Yeah. They, yeah, they all, the 1060s usually do. So they probably take off a good connector and put a Tamiya connector on it then? No, it already, no, I, my 1060s have Tamiya connectors. They <laughs> just order them from Hobby Wing with Tamiya connectors? Yeah, but the, but the ESC, the electronics in it are better. Yeah. They take higher, they take lower motors. And it just yeah, went from lipo friendly to NICAD and nickel metal only. No, 1060s can do lipos. He's just saying with the connectors, the Tamiya connectors. connectors can't. Well, I've run, I've run, uh, I've run lipos with the 1060. It's all about and, the and nothing's happened, happened to that. It, nothing's yeah. happened to the. Nothing's happened to it. Plus, with those connectors, how many connector. times you connect them and disconnect them too? I've heard the more you. If you do it, the worse they get, the sloppier they get. More chance more. you have that battery taking a shit well, on I, you, too. I have uh, EC3s or IC3s uh, uh, going into the Tamiya connector. So I, I'm using both connectors, both different types of connectors, but to put them together yeah. so they can work. But that adapter is a point of uh, resistance. So keep that in mind well i assume it lessens the resistance and no, with the, it ups, ups the resistance right by adding any connection any solder or anything in a line no, what yeah. i meant is the resistance gets a little better at one point mm -hmm. going through the motor going through the electricity no from that what, from that esc -E ic3 no it gets worse best thing is motor to battery directly with no connectors that's why race people do that it's like right from the motor oh, right they're talking the about a direct a direct uh yeah, well, they can honest. plug right into the battery, or yeah, they solder it right into the car. Sometimes. First yeah, time I see it to me, a kit with a three-piece beadlock wheel. Huh. It's cool. Maybe you can yeah. paint it. Up. Oh, it's got multiple colors. He could put the. He could have the one in the middle look like the regular side, and just put the uh, either side different color if he wanted to. But it comes with white white rims, Frank. I thought you said you like those tires that it comes with. The tires are long like. or short and the tires, the tires are for off and on road use. That's what's nice about those. What is, what, what is it you want, Guru? The long one. Long goes at the transmission. Okay. Nice. Finishing off his camera. Okay. I thought you finished that a while ago. Uh uh. Almost. Bag, I believe. Yeah, I was. Winter's I was almost here. You better hurry up. Oh, winter is almost here. You better hurry up. 
winner here. Well, that that that, that that's why he's going to get that uh, Tommy so he can oh. run in the winter with the tracks. <laughs> the snow's going to be here, and you won't be able to run your Capra. <laughs> It's really, I guess, winter's mainly for the big wheeled vehicles, isn't it? <laughs> you, can, you can stomp down a trail. All the people in Canada. The there is, yeah. They do it all the time. Yeah. Could just prep it up a little bit. It's not as good as running in the summer as far as trash. It's just a different challenge or whatever. I, I, I've seen people run lunch boxes in the wintertime. Oh, yeah, more horsepower. Because the tires are big. Yeah. And the Chevron pattern's good in the snow, too. I, I know that the she I know that the, that the monster beetle with its spikes chevron that spike and chevron is good in the snow, decent in the right. snow. I mean, I've seen it run through like two three inches of snow. I bet you the haulers aren't very good in the snow. Yeah, I've seen really the, the longer drive shaft on the transmission goes to the front and the shorter side on the transmission to the rear by the motor. It's I've, ac I've actually seen crawlers run through the snow. They run through it pretty good. It depends how light it is. It depends on what type of snow right. it is, how deep it is. There's a guy, I, I don't know where he is, uh, Marcy at dark, I think. He runs through some pretty deep snow. Randy I says, I run in snow with small tires. It must be packed snow. Yeah, I doubt it's a fresh powder. I, I've seen I've seen them run through wet, a uh, wet, a uh, wet type snow that's got compacted. Or it's getting right, so compacted. They have snow chains for his, some of his trucks too. Yeah, they have, yeah, I've seen chains put on those cars too. Hey, Dirk oh. is in here just in time to say bye. <laughs> I knew I was late. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Dirk. Hey, did you shave? It looks like you shaved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's already growing out. Just a little. It's more it's funny. You, have, you, you work for Hollywood, and yet you have enough time to see uh, the deal with us every Thursday. Right, wait, wait. Hollywood. <laughs> Today is Monday. Sorry, Monday. No, every we're... time we're on. <laughs> no, today, I thought today it was Tuesday. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Well, that's tomorrow. No, no it's today Tuesday. is Tuesday. Now it's Tuesday, yes. Yeah, now it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's I'm twelve twenty thirty seven, so it it's is still Tuesday. Monday here. I'm going with that. That way, I got two days of work out of the way. Off. That's it. <laughs> You're obviously pretty efficient at your job because you find time to get things done. Who really thought I was eating uh, gummy beers? <laughs> what a job's about, Brad. You got to find time to get things done. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know what my em my impasse is. My impasse. What, what do you mean your impasse? impasse. Your impasse? About, about uh, just sticking to doing a fluid motion to do the car. You know, just constantly go at it. I don't know. There might be something, some type of impediment in my back of my mind psychologically at this moment that's causing this, but, you know. Yeah. I think the older you get, the, in some ways the kids you got more things going on. Maybe you, when you're a kid, you didn't have all the electronic distractions for sure. You know, you might convince yourself before you get into it that it's going to take more time or be more complicated than it is. I know yeah. I do that sometimes. Mm. I think I only have 45 minutes. I don't want to drop the transmission out of this car and try to do. A motor change and whatever, but you see, when I was in my twenties and thirties, when I was in the hobby earlier, my girlfriend was alive, and I had a uh, well. Eventually, I had a dog, but uh, uh, I was putting together a CCO ones and other two wheel drive right. buggies, and I, I sat down for the whole night to do it. I had no problem doing it back then with her around, so. I don't know why I can't do that anymore. Don't know. Well, you live alone, so you should have a lot of time to yourself. So you should be able to build those kids. Those kids. Yeah, but my psychological. I know them all. You'll be doing it again. 
my, my it must be my some type of psychological thing going on. I don't know. God, got me. lazy. Maybe, maybe start early in the day and get yourself <laughs> big time. Yeah, yeah, maybe try to build in the morning, different times of the day. You know, maybe better for you. It's hard to say. I would. I, I when I put that together, I think it was practically midday or around midday. So you got lazy. It's definitely, definitely good not to build when you're tired because you'll make more mistakes. Yeah. That's another thing. I'm more tired now than I was back then. <laughs> oh, that's just age. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yep. Just like yeah, me, I like taking a little nap in the afternoon. Get enough sleep. Yeah. When well, you have to be as old as me and Tank, then you're going to be napping twice a day. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. only once a day right now, not twice. Hey, uh, I, I'm already doing that now. And I'm, I nap I'm once only, a day, but I'm it's the whole five, day. I'm practically within five years of both of you guys. <laughs> so. and, all right, well, build it between naps. Build it between naps. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe there's a technique to building your sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sleep building. <laughs> Never Maybe, tried it. Might yeah. come out better. <laughs> the, the fresh smell of so, uh, new rubber. Yes, mm -hmm. I, it, 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 it gives you that. It gives That's you that nice said. feeling. <laughs> Filled with all sorts I get of that feeling with tracks. Yeah, well, yeah. Here's K with tracks, but it might have a slight rubberiness on it, but it doesn't have enough to smell. <laughs> Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Well, these four tires are exactly the same size, so it doesn't matter what goes front, rear. That's weird. No. But it, it's more. It, but it also has a radial-looking pattern on it, which is nice. And they call it a sand tire. There we go. Frank, you were saying that the three-part rim that you hadn't built one of those before on a Tamiya. Uh, no, it's the first time I see a three-part rim on a Tamiya. Oh, so you haven't built a frog or grasshopper. Hornet. A hornet I built. The super no, it's a super hornet that I built. Didn't have that, had a one piece super hornet. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the super hornet rims are nicer looking. <laughs> I think he says he's got a plow for his wrecker as well. Cool. No, yeah, now, I've seen it. Now we're gonna start seeing a lot of posts. We're going to start seeing a lot of posts with everybody putting their plows on their trucks now. The plows, yeah, yeah. the SX6 with plows on it. Yeah, I had a nice V plow last year. I sold it to a friend of mine here in Ottawa. But the V plow was nice because you could actually control it and open it. So that was kind the of one cool. Chris made. Yeah, well, Chris gave me that one, uh, but I don't think he made it. It's another guy that made it. Okay. So. Did. Huh? No, no, I was talking to Frank about those tires. I've seen those, I've seen that car run on a dirt track. It runs, there's a guy, a Japanese, uh, Japanese uh, video where uh, he shows them driving on there. It actually did pretty well on the track with those tires. The Pratt. It should yeah. run pretty good. They're nice and groovy, that's for sure. And and it's what, it's a, it, what do you consider it a medium compound to soft compound for those tires? No, it's pretty, well, medium, I guess. It's not a soft. And it's not hard. It's not hard. It's hard enough. It's, it's a soft it's totally compound. It, it, and it's good for on road use too because of the pattern. Yeah, should be. I wish they gave me foam in there, but there's no wish foam. they would. Wish they would. Brad, can I have some of the on cars come with foam? The minis, the minis came with foam. Frank, did you buy that Brad new or did you find a good deal on one? No, it's the um, it's the elf that sent it to me. Oh, right. okay. That's, okay. no, no, it's not. I, I I I was the elf last year. I was the elf last year that purchased it for me for oh, my birthday. Yeah, yeah that's one yeah. I've always wanted. I just haven't. Oh, the money. I'm in the process with the money he gave me to buy those metal. Uh, for my, these are the hubs for the car. There's metal ones, but it's going to cost me a pretty penny to get them both. They get uh, two sets, you know, four of them all together. And they're metal. 
so I knew I'm feeling I got I get it because the 4600 would probably break these very easily. So I get the metal ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because these are the hubs that go in there. It's a three, a triangular one. It goes in the holes of the in the rim. In the yeah, in the rim, in the middle of the rim. So when are you gonna order these parts that gotta go on this kit that you're building now? Uh, maybe later today. Unfortunately, that the, the, where I'm getting them from, it's from South Korea. So, so this kit will definitely not be done until 2022, <laughs> at least. <laughs> 23. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I think it'll be done before. Well, for how I think it'll be done before how long it took Frank to get to the CCO two. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that the CCO two? He had for two years and even build it. <laughs> you had to let it age. You got to let them age, you know, to appropriate. and you got to let them breathe yeah, for a while. I, I build a lot of other kits. Yeah, I know. And you also fix a lot of other kits. What Ooh, color are you going to put in yes. Wasn't the only thing on my plate, that's for sure. Jams, RC's phone's died. Yeah, we're at all Guys, let's do a quick round table to say goodbye and we'll go offline. I'm getting tired. So. Uh, we'll start with 12 crawler RC. Appreciate the invite, Tank. It's always fun coming on and busting everybody's chops. Yeah. <laughs> Here. And uh, real quick before we keep going to goodbyes, uh, Brad, you weren't on earlier when I talked about this, but let me spotlight me and I'll spotlight you also. Uh, add spotlight, there you go, me and you on there. Uh, on the last uh, RC talk, you weren't there, but uh, I said a joke uh, because we were all having fun and some people said, well, where's Brad? And I kind of said as a joke, uh, Brad, Brad is in the hospital, he fell down 20 stories. So he was up on the big building and he fell down and people go, no, you're kidding, right? I go, no, 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 he fell down, but don't worry, he's okay. He fell on his stomach. And, and uh, people, there's three guys, and I think it's the same person, but using three different names. They really start bashing on me on that video and telling me that I was abusing you and talking bad about you. And I was bullying you and uh, I was taking advantage that you weren't there to defend yourself. There's a whole bunch of things he said anyways, uh, the three different people. And uh, I, I just took the video down just because, yes, I probably, it's my humor. I got a very strange humor that some people don't get. But to, de to come to my defense, kind of, is I'm always there for you and always there to defend you. And to let you come on RC Talk, let you come on to me a Tuesday, even though a lot of people tell me, don't, Brad falls on my nerve, Brad this, Brad that. I don't care. I like you. I want you to come on the show. But I just want the people, hopefully they're still watching or they will watch this video. Uh, I am apologizing a little bit for my bad humor, but I did not say that to be mean. I said that to be to, to have fun with the guys, have fun with you, and just just to be funny. But I guess <laughs> some people just don't get my humor. So I'm sorry about that. They thought it was in bad taste. Let's put it that way. I, I know about that. People told me, some people told me about it. Well, actually, one person told me about it. Okay. And and it, it wasn't done in to be mad or mean to you. It's just, we were just I having that. fun. I knew and, that but uh, other people, other people took offense. I know, I know. But, and I thank you for that. You know, I, I, I was talking back and forth with this person a while about it. I go, he was very upset with me about it. And I go, Frank's helped me with this and that. And he goes, well, it doesn't matter. He still should never have talked about you that way. So, no, you know, and I said, yeah, probably was in bad taste, but I know Frank meant nothing about it. I, I've known you well enough to know this, but, uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, I thank you for your apology, even though I, I wasn't there. The person told me to watch it at, at the 51 minute mark <laughs> where you said it. So yeah. I I did take it off air. I can share you. I did not delete it. I can share with you and just put it like only people that has the link uh, to actually see it. Uh, 
Uh, if you want to see it and say what we said, uh, to me it wasn't. Actually, I did see what you said because oh, was you told. did see it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I just wanted to make sure you knew about it and you heard me say yeah. something about it. So, and that's it. All right. No, and now that we've left the. Uh, Actually, you know what? That's the person who was talking to me. He was happy with Jack because he likes Jack. Oh yeah. 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 Well, he did mention he goes. Uh, it was nice to see Jack be really worried about you. So, but anyways, cool. So sorry about me cutting off the goodbyes and things like that and being on the downside. Uh, Guru, why don't you say bye to people? Peace out. Take it easy. Get that thumbs up. <laughs> you like Tank always says, he cursed me with it. I broke something, but fix it. <laughs> You'll be yeah, okay. There and break something. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, KBRC 13. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, Tank. And Guru said, thumbs up on the way out. Cool. Thank you. We'll go to Dirk. Hey, Dirk. Uh, thanks for the invite. Sorry I was so late. Hey. I didn't expect the work hey, as I did, but <laughs> thanks everybody for that. And uh, I hope everybody has a good night. Thank you very much. Uh, Jan John Martin. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. And uh, thanks for having me. And I'll uh, see everybody tomorrow night, probably. Hold on. I meant to get my John Martin on. No, my fault. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, Green Frog. Appreciate you having these lives, giving us a place to hang out, Francois. It's good seeing talking to everybody in the chat. What little I chatted. Uh, cool. Good night, everybody. See people later in the week. Sounds good. See you tonight, actually, <laughs> on To Me Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Trail Crawler RC. Already did that. You, you mean, uh, you mean trail trail critter, critter RC? Sorry. Oh me. Look, I'm using a hex driver on a Tamiya. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me happy. <laughs> I knew it would. <laughs> we'll see everyone, I guess, later tonight. Cool. Thank you very much, uh, Brad. You're the last one. Thanks for the apology, and I'm glad all of you are here. I always enjoy having everybody here. Goodbye. Cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, now I'll put my wheel down. I got one wheel then. Uh, spotlight for everybody. There we go. So thank you very much, guys, for uh, sticking with me on this impromptu video of me building uh, the uh, Subaru Brat. And we'll see you tonight at 9.30 p.m. Till then, go charge up some batteries and go, uh, go out there and have some fun and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Talk to you guys later. Cheers.